Having this boxer has a lot of options, and you might be overwhelmed at first. I'm going to show you the quickest way to get started. Start by setting up each of the characters that you're going to play together. Right click on characters and select new character. Give your character a name. You can use the same name you use in the game. Now select the game from the game drop down. These are the games configured in your inner space. Then select a game profile. That's all you need to do for now for each character. So do the same thing for each of your characters. Now it's time to put the characters in a team. Right click on character sets and select new character set. Give your team a name. This is going to be used later to launch your character set. Pay attention to the options in the character set page. Depending on the game you're playing, you may need to check prevent game from repositioning windows or make game believe it is the foreground window. Let's set up a hotkey to toggle IS Boxer's in-game user interface. Clicking the button at the side of the hotkey box brings up the hotkey picker window. You can press the key combination in the box at the top to set your hotkey. As you press the keys, the bottom part of the window will fill itself out. Now let's assign the characters to the character set in order to form our team. Start by creating a slot for each character. Right click on slots and select new slot. Now that we have enough slots for our characters, Drag each character into its appropriate slot. The game windows will be assigned to the slot, so make sure that your characters are in the order that you're going to log them into. Now that our team is set up, let's add simple keyboard and mouse broadcasting. Repeater will repeat everything you do with the keyboard and mouse in the other windows. Right click on Repeater Profiles and select New Repeater Profile. Give your new repeater profile a name. It doesn't matter what it is, it's only used to show you which character sets are using which repeater profile. And if you make more character sets later, they can use the same one. You'll need a hotkey to turn repeater on and off. Create a hotkey to toggle keyboard and mouse repeating. For this example, I'll use Control alt r Now we need to link this to our character set. Drag the character set into the repeater profile. Now when we go back to our character set, we'll see everything that was activated for it. That's all the configuring that we're going to do for now. We made a hotkey for toggling broadcasting, and a hotkey to toggle the in-game user interface. The in-game interface can be used to reload your settings if you make changes while you're playing. Now we need to export your settings to Innerspace. Select Export All to Innerspace from the File menu. If it worked, a box will pop up and say that Innerspace configuration exported successfully. To launch a new character set, first launch Innerspace, then right click on the Innerspace icon and there will be a menu IS Boxer Character Sets. Select your character set from the menu and that will launch all the characters.